This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Adrian Witsett. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Cincinnati firefighters rescued three men from the side of a high rise building near 4th and Elm Streets. The crew was working on the outside of the building when their platform gave way. According to firefighters, they were left dangling by their safety harnesses. Firefighters said they are all fine and refused medical care. Dozens gathered in over the Rhine last night to remember Timothy Thomas's life and some of the progress made in the decades since. Organizers old and new agreed that cases of unarmed black people still being killed by police prove that the work is far from over. You did not see what you thought you saw. How many times have we seen that? And that's happening right now in the Chauvin case. As I look around and I see so many young people, you all were us 20 years ago. We thought that black life was a value and matter then. It wasn't no hashtag, it was real. And it still is. In our later newscast tonight, you'll hear from Chief Elliot Isaac as well as Tom Stryker, the former police chief, who says he was surprised he wasn't asked to testify against his officer. We're also talking with men who grew up with the stress of believing they may suffer the same fate as Thomas. We'll have those stories and more, including a look at what still needs to be done to fulfill the promises made 20 years ago. You'll be able to find all of this work on WCPO.com and wherever you stream us as well. Austin. Well, it looks like uh, some cooler temperatures, at least for today. We saw some 80s yesterday. Today, we're stuck in the 60s and 70s, and we're going to see the addition of some showers and storms. So some scattered rain chances uh, for the afternoon hours. A few of those storms could become severe. It's something we'll have to keep an eye on the radar for uh, throughout the afternoon as well as the early evening hours. As we go into the overnight period, though, the temperatures do cool off and those rain chances diminish. We'll be dropping down to around 53 degrees overnight tonight. And here's your nine-day forecast showing some 60s over the weekend and some 60s for much of the next work week.